Maka's guides. <laughs> Hey guys, Maka here, going for the Bravo Zulu P26 Zero Point Achievement, and I'll be showing you how I did it and giving you tips and tricks. Now, since most of the achievement community does believe that zero point achievements are required for completions, I decided to go for this and grab it before finishing my expert run. What we need to do for this achievement is defeat a boss using only the mini plane, and what I would recommend for this is the Hildeberg mission on simple. Now some people seem to be recommending using the charm for two extra hearts, however I ended up using coffee which is completely useless in this scenario and had no issues. For the most part this just involves a little bit of skill and a lot of memorization. I also don't think this achievement is too bad. In comparison to doing all the levels on pacifism or defeating King Dice without getting hit, this one only took me about half an hour. Now one thing that's good about playing on simple is that it's the exact same every time and we can completely ignore the final phase of this boss which is quite tough. Now obviously we'll need to shrink down to mini plane as soon as we start the level and make sure that we don't unshrink for the rest of the level. I'd also recommend just shooting non-stop. Now during the first phase I was quite aggressive, I went right up to the boss and was shooting her in the forehead, watching out for her haws which were on a timer. Additionally you'll have to watch out for these purple and green planes, although they aren't too much of an issue you will have to time around that as well. Eventually she'll get enraged and become a bull. The bull can be quite difficult because you have to be right up in his face and there's not a big timing window to kill him, so what I did was as soon as he charged. I would actually physically count out loud to 10, although it was a very quick count. And I found that for me that was a good timer in order to know when to evacuate to safety. And you just have to keep unloading onto him until he's taken out. The hardest part here is that as soon as he's taken out he'll charge and you have basically no time to react. So you'll probably lose one of your lives right here as he's taken down. Although if you're really smooth and kill him as you're coming across you'll still be able to grab him and not lose that health. Now we're on the Hilda Phase 2 and this is very similar to previously. We're going to be unloading on her forehead, watching out for small ships, and every two or three haws she'll also launch a tornado at us, which we'll want to try to draw into one of the corners and then run away from as it approaches us and leaves a gap on the other side. Continue loading onto her, watching out for these attacks, and she'll eventually transform again. Now the next Hildeberg phase is the Twin Sisters, so if you're unfamiliar these are actually horoscopes. The first one was Taurus, these guys are Geminis, there's also that Cupid guy who is the Sagittarius I want to say. Either way for these they're a little bit difficult because you have to get kind of right up in their face and they have a lot of horizontal movement. So what I found myself dying from the most actually was them actually just physically hitting me because I was too close to them to try to make my bullets land. And as I would approach them the ships would come in from the right side and sometimes run straight into me. However their pattern is decently predictable, they're going to throw a rotating spiral of like flame at you that will rotate either clockwise or counterclockwise and then it'll alternate each time and it'll shoot and you have to avoid it. The only hard part here is that you don't really know which direction it's going to start in, so you have to kind of adjust very, very quickly, and sometimes you might lose a life even if you are doing perfectly. Essentially, just keep dodging their spirals and damaging them until you're in Hildeberg Phase 3. The final phase and the middle phase are actually quite similar. You'll have the haws you have to dodge, and you will also have the tornadoes you'll need to dodge, or rather lure into a corner and then go around. But uh, the only difference here is that everything's happening a little bit faster, there's a lot more ships coming in that you're going to need to dodge, and she has a lot more health than she did previously. So this phase takes tends to take a little bit longer than the other ones. 
Just keep unloading on her forehead. Watch out for the haws. Make sure you're far back enough that the ships coming in from the right aren't going to hit you. And then make sure you are on time with the tornadoes and dodging them appropriately. After a couple minutes of laying out those bullets on her, you will defeat her. And assuming you were the mini plane the entire time using mini bullets, you will get the achievement. Now, another thing you might be asking is, why aren't I using my missiles? Why aren't I parrying objects? Well, while you're the mini plane, you can't do any of this. You can't parry, and you can't use your X moves or your super moves. They just simply don't trigger while you're shrunk. So that's the reason why you can't use them. I hope the tips and tricks offered in this video are helpful to you guys. I hope you can go out and grab this zero pointer on your way to a completion. Thank you so much for watching. Share the video with a friend. Drop a like if it was helpful. Hopefully this is the right step into getting all the achievements in the game. Special thanks to all the amazing people on Patreon for supporting the show. And hopefully I see you guys next time. Peace.